Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Strato Launch completes its first flight, Space IL's attempt at a moon landing was unsuccessful, and Flaris 1 finally takes flight. Happy Monday and welcome to the show. I'm your host, Sophie Herlock. The Strata Launch program has successfully completed the first flight of the world's largest all-composite aircraft. With a dual fuselage design and a wingspan greater than the length of a football field, the Strata Launch took flight last Saturday from the Mojave Air and Spaceport. Achieving a maximum speed of 189 miles an hour, the plane flew for two and a half hours at altitudes up to 17,000 feet. Nicknamed ROC, the aircraft is designed to carry rockets high into the atmosphere to provide satellites with greater altitude and velocity for going into orbit. The test team conducted standard aircraft testing exercises. Initial results from the test points include performed a variety of flight control maneuvers to calibrate speed and test flight control systems, including roll doublets, yawing maneuvers, pushover and pull-ups, and steady heading side slips. The Strata launch is powered by six engines and has a maximum takeoff weight of 650 tons. We'll be right back with Around the Patch after these messages. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Build and fly with the most exciting line of kit aircraft on the market, the Sonics Aircraft B Models. The B Models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics Aircraft flight characteristics. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro tso airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, Safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. If you have any story suggestions for this, any of our other programming or website, send an email to news-spy at aero-news.net. Welcome back. Let's take a quick look at a few stories coming out of the aviation industry in today's trip around the patch. Sonica Aircraft displayed the Sonica 200 Trainer Pro last week at Aero Friedrichshafen. The first Sonica 200 Trainer Pro will be delivered to an aviation school in Turkey this summer. Harris Corporation has received an $84 million contract to create Navigation Technology Satellite 3, which is scheduled to launch in 2022. This experimental satellite will demonstrate new position navigation and timing capabilities to improve the resilience of GPS. The satellite will simultaneously broadcast military and Earth coverage signals at increased power levels, enabling it to operate in harsh environments. A mandatory service bulletin has been distributed by Rotax for its Type 915 IA and B series engines. The bulletin states that internal quality checks have shown in some cases the turbocharger wastegate actuator heat shield has been positioned and installed incorrectly. This can lead to overheating of the wastegate actuator assembly which has an influence on the turbocharger operation. That's it for today's trip around the patch. When we return, Space IL's moon landing attempt was unsuccessful. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Today is a new dawn. With a new name. Un nuevo logotipo. A new factor. Und einen globalen Kundenfokus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies and we stand behind you. Hey! 
there's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Space IL was not able to land its bare sheet lunar lander on the surface of the moon. The landing attempt was planned for last Thursday at 3.25 p.m., but at around 3.24, controllers announced they had lost contact with the spacecraft. They later reported that they had been unsuccessful in the landing attempt. The rocket's motor apparently cut out during descent, and although it was successfully restarted, contact was lost with the spacecraft. Space IL was one of the companies that participated in Google's Lunar X Prize competition to successfully land a spacecraft on the moon without assistance from the government. The Beresheet spacecraft was launched back in February by SpaceX and made Israel the fifth nation to place a spacecraft into lunar orbit. The Polish Flaris LAR-1 jet took to the skies for the first time last week testing optimal takeoff and landing configuration, as well as to check overall control and stability. Despite high winds and crosswinds, the five-seat plane made 26 takeoffs and landings. The Flaris LAR-1 is powered by a single Williams FJ-33 5A and was designed to be able to use short grass airstrips while still offering an expected range of over 3,000 kilometers. The design specifies a cruise of 478 miles per hour at FL-250. The airframe is also equipped with an emergency parachute recovery system. The first deliveries are planned for late 2020. And that's it for today everyone. As always, don't forget to subscribe, tweet and like us. And check out our website, aero-news.net, if you want real-time 24-7 coverage on the latest aviation aerospace stories. I'll see you back here tomorrow for an episode of Airborne Amand.